Hi there. Nice that you join us. My name is Inez and I'm going to help you come up with design, build, and test an app. Do you know how an app is made? It always starts with an idea. After the idea, the app, or a prototype that is the test version of the app, is built. First, all the screens are drawn. One by one and then, usually by a programmer, they are programmed in code. Then the app is tested. This can be done by a number of test persons, but also just by you and me. Via the app or Play Store or reactions from users, the designers discover what can be improved. And then it usually starts all over again. New idea to solve a problem, now within the app. Rebuild the app and test again. That's why you usually see version 2.01 or something with an app. The designers have then already solved a lot of problems. But back to our mission. Now you are going to come up with an app yourself. Pause this video for a minute first to get the design canvas and a marker or pen. This is the design canvas. That is a beautiful name, but it is just an overview where later all the information can be found about what you need to start designing your app. Look at this. It consists from five parts. The name of your app and your own name, the designer. The idea that you have for an app, what does your app do? Then in the top right hand corner, who your app is intended for. Underneath that, where will your app be used? And in the center, the fifth plane, what can your app do or what is the functionality? We start with the two planes on the left. In a minute, pause this video again and think of what app you would like to make. If you've come up with an idea and a name, write them down right away. You can also write down your own name immediately. If you're done, press play again and we'll continue. We now go to the right hand side of the canvas. For whom is your app intended? For yourself or for the teacher? Your mom or dad? Or maybe for your dog? Click on pause again and write down in box number three for whom your app is intended. Box four, where will your app be used? If the app is for you, maybe it's at home or in school. If it's for someone else, maybe it's outside, at work, in the library, or maybe everywhere. Now we have the idea for your app, whom it is for, and where the app will be used. Great. The last box in the center, number five, is about everything that your app can do. We also call that the functionality of the app. For example, suppose you make an app to record and share videos, like Snapchat. Then your app must be able to one, make a short video, two, edit the video, and three, share the video. There is room for three things, but there can be more or less. If all went well, then your entire canvas is filled now. Very nice. You now have a beautiful overview where you can find all the information that you need to start designing the app. In the next mission, we are going to do the second step of building an app, namely designing the screens. So hold on to your canvas carefully because you're going to need it in the next mission. See you at the next mission.